quick tutorial on golf towels. So they're pretty long, so I have to do it in two sections. <clears throat> I took the carabiner out of here so I don't have that in the way while I'm pressing. And I'll start with the top end. I've got my printed sections into two pieces already. And then what I've done is just put copy paper down on the bottom here. <clears throat> Get this lined up. Got my print cut a little bit wider than the towel. And I'll get some tape ready. The press is at, uh, what is it, at 385. And then my timer's at 45 seconds. So, there we go. Bit of copy paper on top. And. Pretty firm pressure. Um, I've already got my second piece ready to go here. So I ended up using my 13 by 19 paper, but if you have, I think if you have 11 by 17, you should be good. Yeah, this should fit on two pieces of 11 by 17. Or if you don't have one that prints that wide, I have seen people do magic with putting together, you know, like eight different pieces for something and it somehow works out okay for them. So it's probably one of those things that takes practice. Or if you're lucky and have a really big uh, pr printer that can pr print really big, then you could definitely do this in one shot. That's the dream. I would love to have one that will do like a whole baby blanket or something like that that'd be amazing but that would have to take up the entire garage so there's part one done and then i just gotta put more paper down this is just the cheapest um plain copy paper that i can get and i think i got it at staples i just buy it by the case because you can use it for print printing, regular printing as well, right? And then this, I don't want to have it overlap on this black because I don't want to have it um, get brown where it connects. So actually, I just want to pre-press this to get it a bit flatter for me. because right there where it connects you're gonna get extra pressing so let me see if I can move that a little bit more let's see just try to find my edge here but right along the edge so this is pretty sketchy we'll see if it works out and if it's not perfect I'm not super worried um I would say it's probably because where we're connecting it's black. We might get some issues. But if it was a lighter color, you wouldn't have any problems, most likely. Alright, so never reuse your paper. Always get fresh paper. And uh, one step you didn't see me do is you want a lint roll. Always want a lint roll. Everything that you Sublimate when you're using darker colors again, you're gonna get away with not doing it some of the times, but It's better to just always do it and then You Most likely won't forget to do it when you actually need to Which I've done many many times All right, these golf towels I do sell them <clears throat> Madcrowblanks.ca I can't tell you what the price is. I think it's around five, five dollars, something like that. But yes, there it is. All right, I'm turning my press right off. It's hot here today, so the less time it's on, the better. And then let's see how this turned out. Wee, hot, hot, hot. 
looks pretty darn good. Oops. Look at that. See? Two sections, but we managed to get the job done and did pretty good. So just keep this right along the edge of your press and you should be fine. <clears throat> the back now is where the, uh, I guess you'd call this like a terry cloth or whatever. So I would take a lint roller now after this is cooled a bit and fluff this up. And then you'll be good to go. And then you can put your carabiner back on. And that's it. That's how you do the golf towels.